Hi guys, it's Kier and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Today, however, will be a different type of video than I usually make. I'm going to be doing an NHL Would You Rather with my good friend I Don't Give to Chuck. Now, if you haven't heard of I Don't Give to Chuck, go check him out. He's a really interesting channel and he makes videos about talking about hockey. So his channel will be in the first link in the description below. So check him out. And now on to the video. Would you rather have Brady Tkchuk or Matthew Tkchuk on your team? Well, Kier, um, I think the answer is blatantly obvious for me. Anyways, Matthew Tkchuk, I always post on Twitter that Matthew's better than Brady. We haven't seen much of Brady yet, so I can't really evaluate statistic-wise. But what I know as of now is that I think Matthew is the better brother and the Bias Flames fan of me will always say Matthew is better than Brady, but time will tell. I think both will play great, and I can't wait to see your Ottawa Senators face off against my Calgary Flames to see the Kachuk rivalry in the near future. I personally would definitely rather have Matthew Tuchuk than Brady Tuchuk. I know we haven't seen Brady Tuchuk in an NHL game so far, but I still think that Matthew Tuchuk is better. He is a better offensive player. He scores more goals than Brady Tuchuk. Brady Tuchuk has only scored nine goals last season, and I believe that Matthew Tuchuk is just an overall better player who will have a better NHL career. Would you rather see your favorite goalie score a goal or see him win a fight? You know, obviously, it's my favorite goaltender. Well, obviously, right now is Mike Smith. So, would I rather see Smith score a goal, or would I rather see him win a fight? Uh, my answer is going to be score a goal. Smith's done it before with the Arizona Coyotes against the Detroit Red Wings. I think it's really cool to see that. I believe it also was a buzzer beater, by the way. And Smith is often known for playing the puck tons of times which has driven me crazy watching him on the TV. Like, what are you doing? Getting out of the net? Your job's a goaltender. I know he likes to play the puck. He can score. So if I go to a game and I want to see goal scoring, I'd love to see Mike Smith, especially live, not just on my TV, score a goal for the Flames. Would be awesome. This one was a little more tough, but I'd rather see two gladiators go at each other's throats than see a goalie score a goal. I mean, it just brings the crowd to its feet, and it's awesome to watch so I would definitely have to go with a second option. Would you rather have a hockey friend who hates your team or have a friend who doesn't care at all about hockey? Well for me and my friend group we have both. We have people who watch hockey and just don't like the flames. We have those who don't like it at all. For me personally it really doesn't matter what you do and don't like but for the sake of the question it's nice to have some friends that know a little bit about hockey. They don't have to like the Flames. I live in the area where you're a Flyers or a Penguins fan and a little bit of Devils and Capitals fans because I've seen them a lot, especially after the Capitals hoist the cup. <laughs> but I think that's going to be my answer. This is an easy answer. I would definitely rather have uh, someone who I can talk hockey with, even if they hate my team. That's already happened to me before, so I'm kind of used to it. Uh, you just feel lonely if you don't have anyone to talk sports with, so that's why I'm going to have to go with someone who hates your team. Would you rather win Olympic gold or win the Stanley Cup? This is kind of an easy question, kind of a hard one, because when you think about it, what if you never win the Stanley Cup? Then you might want to have that gold medal around your neck. But for me, if I was in the NHL, a gold medal would be nice. But I think everybody's goal is to hoist the Stanley Cup over their heads. If I could do it, I'd love to. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be ever able to do that. But for the sake of the question, the Stanley Cup. I love to hoist that thing over my head. And I can't wait to buy an inflatable Stanley Cup to do so when the Calgary Flames win it all. This was by far the hardest question to answer. But I'm going to have to give the edge to Olympic gold. It's more prestigious. You win it with your country. That's just no other feeling in the world that you can reconstruct. Um, Olympic gold is watched on a bigger stage than NHL. It's international. You watch it in China. You watch it in, in South Korea. You watch it pretty much anywhere where the Winter Olympics are held. While in the Stanley Cup, even though you, heart, you fight so hard to win the Stanley Cup, there's less viewers, there's less attention. And I just think it'd be cooler if you won Olympic gold with your teammates from your own country. 
Would you rather have Austin Matthews or Patrick Laine? So in all honesty, this was so hard to find out that I actually had to get some statistics to help me with my answer. So as you can see, Austin Matthews played 62 games, put up 34 goals and 29 assists for 63 points. When we take a look at Patrick Laine, he played 82 games, putting up 44 goals and 26 assists for 70 points. So my answer will be Patrick Laine. Patrick Laine hasn't really suffered a major injury yet like Austin Matthews has. And in my opinion, wingers are a bit more harder to find than centermen. So Patrick Laine is going to be my answer. I like his speed, his shot, and his accuracy. The big question, Austin Matthews versus Patrick Laine. I'm going with Patrick Laine here. I mean, the dude scored like 42 goals last season. Maybe that's why I'm siding with him. I mean, I know Austin Matthews was injured last year, but I still think that Patrick Laine has a better wrist shot than Austin Matthews. He can help the team better when it comes to scoring goals. So I'm going to have have to go with Laine here. And finally, last but not least, would you rather fight Ryan Reeves or get hit by Dustin Bufflin? <laughs> I didn't think you were trying to kill me, but um, is neither an answer? I don't want to do either, but I guess if I had the choice to fight Ryan Reeves or get slammed by Dustin Bufflin, obviously you wouldn't want any of those people coming at you full speed. But I think I'm going to do fight Ryan Reeves. Because if I get slammed by Dustin Buff, and it's going to be bad, especially for my back. But at least I could take a few punches from Ryan Reeves and avoid getting critical damage. At least it'll do his damage my face, <laughs> right? But um, I think that's going to be my answer. Fight Ryan Reeves. Wish me luck. This is like, would you rather get killed or be sent to the hospital? I'd rather get hit by Dustin Bufflin. I mean, it's not like you're fighting Dustin Bufflin. If you just get hit by him, sure, you like break your back, especially if you're me because I'm super skinny. But if I fight Ryan Reeves, I'll be sent to the hospital or even sent to the cemetery. So I would have to get hit by Dustin Bufflin because it'd just be less painful. So with that, that's going to be the end of today's video. You got to see my face for the first time on this channel. Thank you again for watching that video. Make sure to drop a like to the video because it really means a lot to me. It means even more if you subscribe because we are currently 9 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. It would mean a lot to me if we hit 100 subscribers really soon. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week for another video.